no more rehearsing and nursing a pot. We know every card by heart. Overture, curtain lights, this is it. We'll hit the heights, and oh, what heights we'll hit. On with the show, this is it. On with the show, oh. this is it. How this the heck are you? It. Hey, how are you? This is it. Make no mistake where you are. This is it. We're going no further. Well, actually, you are. we got a whole you hour should, to go It's supposed to be like, like uh, 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 McDonald, uh, uh, Michael McDonald. This is it. No, I can't do it. This is Wait. <laughs> this is it. This is it. You don't this. know me, but I'm uh, your uh, See, the, do this is it. Wait, isn't that Kenny Loggins? Yes. Oh, I said Michael McDonald. I know you did. I just let you go. <laughs> why didn't you let me? Cor- why didn't you correct me? Because it was entertaining. Oh, <laughs> what happened? Now my well, headphones. I think, I now think my Michael headphones McDonald just went out. My headphones just went out. I don't know what happened. My headphones just went out. So you don't. You oh, know, they're there. You know, oh, they're back. I this think, is it. I think Michael McDonald. This does, is it. Does backup vocals on that song. That's what it is. Yes. Yeah. Michael McDonald was like on the soundtrack of, yeah. the, of the 80s and into the 90s for like 15 Make years. He was on everything. You he was so busy, it turned his hair white. <laughs> <laughs> so what's up? You, what, what, what do you mean you're back again? What were you, what, what, what are you interloping on other shows? I was uh, moonlighting. What? I was cheating on you. Oh. I mean, no, I had a lot of fun. I was... Uh, you know, uh, DJ Danny uh, invited me to co-host her show uh, oh. with her yesterday. All right, sir. Um, and I said I would do it. And I actually had no idea what was happening. I really didn't know until the day <laughs> of. She just like, well, I saw an instant message. I saw Tim Eli on it. And I was like, oh, yeah, you know. And it said, uh, Tracy, so you, you will you co-host a, my show with me? So you had a filthy show then. It was a filthy, dirty <laughs> show. <laughs> But so, <laughs> Tracy, will you co-host my show? And I said, yeah. So this is actually pretty funny. So I'm like, okay. And then I'm seeing as the day progresses, I see all these different people on it. I don't know any of them. Oh, no. I'm like, I don't, oh, other no. than Tim. So I don't know who these people are. I don't know what it's for. I don't know. Why is she having all these people on? What's the purpose? What's the goal? I had no idea. What's the buzz? I, Tell I just me what's thought, happening. In my head, I was like, hey, you know, I'm helping I'm helping her out and um, you know, it's my pleasure. And you know, I love to hear myself talk. So it's just another Is opportunity right? for me to talk. <laughs> I'll be damned. So then we get here and it's all comedians. Stand up comedians. What, so I guess I'm a stand up comedian now. Because I did one show. <laughs> I am doing a second show. Wow. But um so uh, so it was well, Timmy way, Lai, yeah, yeah, uh, Turtle, a priest, a priest a rabbi, and a, uh, and a Protestant minister going to a bar. Bartender says, was it some kind of a joke? Thank you. Thank you You're very welcome. much. Go ahead. So, <laughs> <laughs> see, Tim's good with that stuff. I'm not good at telling jokes. I'm good at telling stories, but I can't tell, like, an actual joke. Tell me a story, Greg. I don't remember. Tell me a story. So it was this guy, Turtle, and then it was Timmy Lai. Was he turtly enough for the Turtle Club? Yeah, it's, it's Turtle. <laughs> D, uh, and he's a stand-up comic, new stand-up comic. Uh, and he's going to be doing a show with Timmy Lai at City Streets. Right. And so, and then uh, then it was DJ Danny, then it was myself. And then it was this guy, Will. It was very funny and also a new comic, brand new. Right on. And then this this guy, and you know, I'm going to hope he watch, he's watching this. Uh-oh. So, wait, now I just forgot to say. His last name is John Proverano, his name is. So his name's John Proverano. So John Proverano comes and he's like an hour late because it was a two hour show. He was busy with a hit. He was he was yeah, he's a, he's Italian. But here's the thing. So you know what? I kinda have a little crush on him. Uh, what? I realized something. Uh-oh. I said, Well, you know what happens when you meet somebody and you have like uh similar uh, likes and dislikes and similar views and so on, and he, he basically is like me. But a male version of me. Uh oh. <laughs> so I kind of was like, you know, and you know the whole thing, like they say opposite attracts. Well, he's not the opposite of me. He's the exact same as me. Right. So now I, I never got, I'm sorry, John, but I never heard of John. I didn't know. I thought he was like an amateur comedian. So, you know, Danny's going down the table. She's asking people, oh, what have you done? Where have you been? Blah, blah, blah. So I talked a little bit about myself and Club MTV and whatever I did. So they get to him and he goes, well, I wrote for VH1, ESPN. And I go, what? He goes, yeah, I tour. I do stand-up comedy full time, and I tour. I was in California. I was, at, I was like, what? Wow! Like and all this stuff. You know, so did he's this. the guy. He's the guy. So I'm thinking. So then I go, do you know my friend Gary? 
and you know my friend Gary who's been in the of course. you know yeah. and uh, he's like I'm very good friends with Gary as a matter of wow, fact I know him no very way. well and I was like oh my <laughs> god that <laughs> is hilarious so there he tells me go. a story about Gary and we go back and forth la 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 and um, so you know every time I would say oh I love this I like this he'd be like yeah I like that too and if he said something I said I like that too so I was like thinking you know this love is he's, he's, a, he's kind of kind of turning me on a little bit I was like a little I kind of was I think I was staring at him the whole show. <laughs> <laughs> I really was. Now here, now blink, here blink, here's, blink, here's blink. the kicker. You ready for the kicker? <laughs> I found out how old he was, and I was like, "Well, that's stupid," because <laughs> you know, because he's thirty five. <laughs> he's a baby. Well, he's the baby. Thirty five. So I was like, like I thought if he was like you know in his forties, I would have been all over him like a cheap suit, you know. <laughs> I would have been like a spider monkey on him, oh, you know, man. but, you know, then I was like, oh, I wake up, smell the coffee. This is what happens. I mean, maybe if he w- he's into banging older chicks, but <laughs> other than that. Wow. So I'm just going to admire you from afar, John, from afar. <laughs> and that's it. That's well, all then. I have to say about that. But it was well, a very good show. You said it all. And we laughed a you, lot. You've said enough. Well, you know. <laughs> you know. You know me. I say whatever's on my mind. I can't keep shit in. That's a, a problem bit. with me. <laughs> I really can't. No, at work, no, this is a true story. I swear to God. It's, that's what got me fired from my job is because I can't keep my mouth shut. Yeah, next thing is going to happen, you're going to put shot colors on us. Uh, Tracy, you got a minute? We'd <laughs> like to see it back in the HR <laughs> no, office. No, the, no, it was this. The, the one that got me, got me like axe was when I said, yeah, look who's drinking the Kool-Aid. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's yeah, what yeah. it was. <laughs> <laughs> and then they, they took me in the back. They said, um, yeah, you said, go look who's drinking that. the Kool-Aid. Yeah. That is negative. I go, what? I think it's freaking funny. I, n- I mean, it's not funny. Not if you like Kool-Aid. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know? So, <laughs> but anyway, so, you know, I can't keep my mouth shut. So I'm very happy. <laughs> I work in an environment now where I pretty much say what I want, and they think it's funny. So I like that. You know, right. it's like I could say, hey, chill out to my boss. And he's like, yeah. I'm like, yes, I like that. <laughs> If I said chill out at my old job, they'd be like, go to the back. Yeah, you're we're going to have you into yeah, the HR Yeah, office. yeah. But there, he just like, he goes, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I got to chill out. Yeah, and I like that. He, we have like a mutual respect. I, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because oh, nothing is worse than working in an environment that is toxic and where people disrespect you and treat you like crap. It's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. Well, so people, it's people uh, would uh, throttle me back, you know, back out in the radio days out in Williamsport when I was, uh, you know, part of the management and all that. And I just uh, sometimes I get ripping and roaring and all this because my boss kind of got a little bit ripping and roaring mm-hmm. at me. And, you know, it trickles down sometimes. I would do my really, really best job trying to, you know, stop it. Reel it in. Yeah. You know, have him unload and then just me just sort of <laughs> be the sounding board. Right. A couple few times, though, you know. Somebody would say just the right or the wrong thing, and kapow, off I'd go. And uh, one of my uh, one of my sellers, um, Rich, would come in, and uh, he's like, "John, I'm like, yeah." So uh, I'm gonna get the door. I'm like, oh shit, now what? Yeah. <laughs> you all right? I'm like, what are you talking about, dude? Really? You just you gotta you gotta be cool. You gotta be cool. You gotta Relax. be calm. You gotta get together. Yeah. You gotta stay tough. You well, I was thinking of, uh, um, you know, a crazy little thing called love. You gotta be oh, cool. Oh, you gotta be relax. cool. Relax. Relax. That's true. Yeah, you know, um, and I'm like, Rich, I know, you know, or or my or my buddy who's uh, he's and Rich's still a good friend, but my real good friend who's who I still communicate a lot with out there, Todd, who was the program director. He'd uh, he come he come by, poke his he poke his head around the way and say, John, yeah. Walk with me, won't you? I'm like, oh, that was that was code for either there's something go- there's something up or I did something. Right. <laughs> and I would do it to him too. Todd, yeah, walk with me, won't you? Oh. So he would he would talk me down. I get it, you know. Other places, <clears throat> we don't have that luxury. No, and I, I think it's just uh, you know. Productive, uh, happy people are productive people. Well, you got to vent it off sometimes. And, I mean, yeah, you just have to. Well, you that's okay. To. But I'm just saying, like, happy people are productive people. And it's like, it's almost, it, I mean, this is elementary. I mean, you don't have to, you know, be a rocket scientist to figure Dude. out that. Tracy, oh. Tracy, it's your sister. Can you hear me? Yes. Who's on the phone? Okay, put, put me on the air. Put me on the air. You're on the You're air. On the air. Hello. Hello. Weirdo. <laughs> I Stephanie. I want to chime in. What are you talking about? What are you going to talk about? I want to chime in on toxic work environments. 
Oh, God. Here we go, Stephanie. This is Stephanie <laughs> Paris, everyone. Go ahead. Go Yay. for it, Stephanie. Thank you for calling. Okay. I'm go. Stephanie Tracy's sister, and I just want to say I, too, have a problem with my mouth, and I, too, lost my job due to it. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, apple tree. Yeah, what? yeah. <laughs> why don't you tell us right. Why don't you tell us the story, Stephanie? Well, the story was they were on my ass till I lost control, and I thought to myself, go so, on a smoke break <laughs> before you lose it. So I went on a smoke break, and then I came back, and the aggravation was still there. And then I said, go get yourself a drink uh, to calm yourself down. And I did that. And then they came back and they told me, you were uh, 20 minutes over your break period. You're fired. You're stealing hotel well, time. Well, wait. You need to, You need to. first of all, a couple of things. A, you need to go a little bit into the history of the fact that you worked there for how long? Yes, I worked there for 22 years. Whoa. And, yeah, 22 years straight. And then they fired me on uh, taking an extended break that they caused me to take. So I'm going to court over it. Oh. And I'm uh, hoping everything runs uh, okay. But right now I'm thinking, like, you need a spinoff show in Montreal. I want to do what you guys do. You guys are hilarious. Oh, thanks, Steph. Thank you. <laughs> thanks, yeah. Steph. I watch it every day. I watch it every day. Well, we're only on once a week, but I like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, repetition builds well, repetition. Yeah, repetition. Yeah. <laughs> No, I have to watch it in part. That's true. That's true. It is a long. It's yeah. an hour and a half. That's true. That's that's a true story. Yeah. Uh, I watch a little bit every day. Yeah. No, that's good. I'm I'm glad you do. I'm glad you get the chance to watch it. I think Uncle Jimmy watches it too. He likes it. Listen, you guys got to make it a daily something. That, Once well, a week's not enough. Yeah. You know, well, th- well, we we're working know, on it. We uh, we yeah, because there's lots of stuff to cover. We walk before we jog before we run. You know what I mean, Stephanie? We're, uh, there's, okay. There's, there's, well, there's a, I guess I, I, you don't know my sister then. Well, <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah, he does. Yeah, I do. <laughs> and, and sometimes I got to just, okay. My sister, my sister is a big adventurer, and she's fearless. So yes. you can do a little more than small steps. <laughs> well, you know, it's it's all to right now, Stephanie. It's all about what is available. We didn't have a lot available. Oh, now, okay. we're, now we're in a new facility, okay. and things are, shall we say, burgeoning. They're unfolding. So uh, <laughs> stick around. You never know what the heck's gonna happen. You know, we're. Uh, we're it's on. true. Where are okay, you? Are you well, like in traffic I, or something? I just wanted to chime in and said you've got some Canadian viewers, and we're loving it. Thanks, Steph. Where are you right now? Are you? I'm waiting for the train after I tried to get a job. They told me I wasn't qualified for it, even though I have 22 years' experience in it. <laughs> wow. well, were you trying to get a man- get a management position, or you don't want one? <laughs> they won't even they won't even let me be a maid. They're like, you're what? you're not meeting our requirements. And I'm like, how am I not meeting your requirements? I've done this job for 22 years straight. <laughs> wow. How's your French? I don't know. I'm completely fluent now. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Yeah, I think there's some underlying. I think the universe is just telling me think big. Well, so now I, I gotta. Maybe it's time to change profession. Yep, that's the plan. So yeah. I'm taking some little work training program thing to see if I can get the government to pay for me to go to school, and uh, I'm gonna try and better myself. There you go. You know what? You have your whole life ahead of you. you I know? do. I do. You do, and you're still right, young. Guys. You know, just. Uh, yeah. You can change and do whatever you want to do, you know, anytime. You don't have to stick with what you're doing. People are slaves to their workplace. I mean, people, you know, work for money, and that's what it is. And very yeah. rarely do I yeah. meet people who make a lot of money and love what they do, unless they're like an actor yeah. or a singer very, or something. It's rare. And even, right. they're, it's even they're depressed. I mean, you got, you yeah, got famous people killing suicide. themselves and everything, drug addicts. It, it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. It's, it, it's all about your spirituality and being happy with yourself. Find something that makes you happy. That's the bottom line. That's it. So I'm going to let you guys get back to your show because it was a small interruption. But I just wanted to say I love it and I'm very proud of you. And I Thanks, use Steph. your I use you as my inspiration to be fearless. Thank you, Steph. I love you. Well, rock on. Power to the too. people. Okay. Have a great day. Have fun in Canada. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. That's Stephanie Paris. Right. That's Stephanie Paris. From Montreal. She's from Montreal. She is. Nice. Yeah. All right. There she is. We don't talk very often, so it was nice to hear her. But when you voice. do, it was nice. Did, yeah. Isn't that funny? We haven't seen each other in uh, 12, 13 years. Oh, maybe? my. Oh, yeah. Long time. Wow. Long time. I'll be darned. Yep. 
Yeah. Yep. Right. But uh, uh, you know, she's my sister, and I'll always, uh, I always love my sister. So. And what's there not you to go. love? I mean, there you have it. Good there you go. You. Good for you, man. I'm, 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 I'm a little, I'm a little envious. I have, I got cousins, you know, no siblings, and that's just how it is, and yeah. I'm cool with that. But I mean. Well, oh we talked boy. about that. I mean, I have a very small family. My family's Correct. tiny. It's little. So, uh, you know, they're uh, kind of all over the place and um, in different parts of the world, you know. So it's good to hear, you know, my uh, my sister's voice. So I was nice. glad to hear from her. That's good. But, yeah, so that going back, that's, and that's just what happened to her toxic environments, working in toxic. I just, I don't understand it. I don't understand how anybody, <coughs> if you are a manager or a leader of any place, I think the importance of your uh, the happiness of your employees. I just don't, I don't understand why you know people think that you'll produce more and make more money for the company if you're miserable. They uh, they they gravitate toward the fear rather than the positivity. You know, fear of um, being admonished, fear of losing one's job, fear of getting demoted. <coughs> Excuse me. you. I'm so sorry. Um, that's that's what that's what people you know, and there's there's a couple few who uh, who I know you know um, through the years that uh, did that do that or about that knowingly or not, and it just is what it is. And you know you work uh, you work on avoiding it. You know um, I'm not I'm not saying that there's uh, there's not time you know to uh, to tell it like it is. Okay. Right. But you know what? Um, again, my experience has been I got a whole lot more um, positive results and in action, interaction, counteraction, and reaction with the, the proverbial honey than what I did with the vinegar. Okay? Right. You attract a lot more flies with honey than you do. But now, I'm not to say that once in a while you got to sprinkle that vinegar or pour it out a little bit because you know what stuff happens. You, you got you to attack it. But then, as soon as I'm done sprinkling that vinegar, don't I have that honey pot right here, okay? So that when someone would walk out, unless they really, really stepped in it hard and bad and deep. Um, oh. when somebody, well, and that would happen from time to time. You know, it was, oh. uh, yeah, we're going to talk to you about your last presentation. Oh, what about it? No, no, no. Your last. <laughs> the last presentation. Presentation, because your position here and my college minor have a lot in common. What's that? Both history. Yeah. You know what I want to say? Has there ever been a state in this country of ours that has won two championships in the same season? <laughs> two. <laughs> has that ever happened? Two championships in the same season, yeah. yes. Okay. Has there ever been a state <coughs> in this country who has won three championships in the same season? That I don't know. I'm going to say no, because you know the Bruins are going to the Stanley Cup. And that has to do <laughs> what? How did, how did we go? Oh, that was a hard right turn. It right was there. a hard right. I was ready Holy for the hard right. Crap. That's right. That's right. It's wow. true. Yeah, they. Uh, well, no, and you know, I was thinking of you in the mm -hmm. whole weekend because, mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're away buzzing around up the Poconos, you know, and uh, and hockey and the playoffs, and now we're down to the semifinals, and it's the Bruins mm -hmm. and what? The, uh, the, the. Well, it's the. Well, the, I, you know, I'm speaking a little too soon. Hurricane. I'm speaking a little too soon, but it's the best of seven. Of course. And we have won three in a row. I'm funny. I didn't so they'd see have you to on the ice the other night. Yeah, just, I was on the ice. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? Did you not see me? Again, I'm I did not. I'm I'm forward. Have you not seen? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 a little bit. Yeah, I'm in the line. I'm in the line. Don't you worry. Me and <laughs> me and Bergeron. Me and Bergeron were like oh, this. Oh, Marshawn Lord. too. So they're not going to win. It's impossible. Lynch? They're not going to win four games. I mean, it's not going to happen. It's impossible. I mean, I shouldn't say that because I would knock on wood. But but sure enough, I'm pretty confident that we're going to go Stanley Cup. Now, then we have to win the Stanley Cup. Well, we have uh, another team to go. But, you know, we beat... three more sports to go because... Then you no, got no, no, we already won. No, no, it's done. This Of the season. So, the season. Yeah. So, of the season, yeah. it went, if you remember, it was Red Sox, Patriots. It's in a row. That's the season. Patriots won? Shut up. No, seriously, I don't remember. Did they really? Yes. Who did they play again? What are you talking about? I Why don't are you remember. being a jerk? I know. Oh, you I, really tell I me the truth? I don't remember. I don't remember. I, I swear, I'm not being a jerk. I don't remember. It was the Rams that we beat. For the right. That's right. Okay. Yeah. 
Wow. And I then we won the World Series at, in the summer. Then we won the Super Bowl. And now we're almost this close to winning the wow. Stanley Cup. I don't think that's ever happened in the state. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think because they were, it's one right after wow, the other. So wow, it's wow. the same Cause, season. Because the Mets in 86 won the World Series. Mm -hmm. And then in 86, the, uh, the Super Bowl in early 87, the Giants won. Right. So but there's, there's your two. But did the Rangers win the Rangers Hawks? did the not. Cup? Devils did not. Right. Islanders did not. And, and here's the crazy thing. The, uh, we were, the Celtics the were Nets. super close. Celtics were in the playoffs. They were. And then Toronto. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that wasn't Toronto. Was the seventy no seventy sixers beat Tor uh, Toronto? Toronto beat the seventy sixers. That's right. The Bucks. Tor that's right. It was the Bucks. And so and but it was the Toronto beat the seventy sixers at the last shot. Did you see that? That was wild. Insane. Dun, 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 Insane. Dun. Yeah, and everybody was like, Drop. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> um, so uh -huh. you know, but we got the fact that we even got that close. I'm like, how you know? I mean, no one, no wonder people hate Boston so much because I mean, but I, 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 I am really I'm don't. psyched. I mean, I'm just no. Well, okay. not eat, well, sports you know me, people I'm not, do. I'm not. A Patriots fan, but here the Patriots and following and the them. Giants beat the Patriots in one of the uh, in one of the Actually, Super two Bowls. Of, two of them. Two of them. Two of them. What's the first one? Uh, after the eight season, and then after, and then four years later, after the eleven season. Oh yeah, I forgot. So be two. Yeah. So you forgot. Whatever. I mean, it, it happens. Right. I mean, it's right. if it's all right, we have six Super Bowls with the same quarterback. So hey, whatever. You know, and that's and that's and that's a big Pittsburgh. I can't Pittsburgh, take who away. says we won six too, not with the same quarterback. You didn't. Well, thank you. <laughs> that's all I gotta say. Anyway, I don't mind. And we should have had seven because we should have beaten sports. the Eagles. The uh, the Patriots, however, are kind of like how I am. Like Darth with, Vader. With, no, no, no. With oh. how I am and have been for a long time with the Dallas Cowboys, being a New York Giants fan. And with the New York Yankees being a New York Mets fan, mm -hmm. I don't root for the team. I don't. You okay. don't root, root, root for the home team because they're not my home team. Oh. Number one and number two, even if I did like them, like for example, I like the New Orleans Saints. I've liked them since uh, since uh, Eli and, and Peyton Manning's father was the quarterback down there um, in the seventies. But they're not my home team. I just like them. Patriots, you know what? I, I don't root for them, but I like a bunch of the players or I and or respect And you them. like me. Well, yeah. See? Hello. Um, do it for Tracy. <laughs> do it for Tracy. <laughs> you know, but and same thing, you know, I I couldn't tell you anymore who's on the Red Sox, but I, I like the Red Sox if for no other reasons I love that ballpark. I have got to see you, a Fenway's game amazing. at Fenway. Fenway I is, just really is do. Amazing and say, the Sox yeah. are fine. I remember the old days, you know, with with Yastrzemski and Carlton Fisk, mm -hmm. you know, Jimmy Rice and all them and when they wanted a series, I think I I think I kind of dig them because that was the last World Series that I was able to watch with my grandfather. That was in, uh, in October, and he passed in December, and and we watched. Man, it was we would go out and visit, and, and he was he was big baseball guy. It was the uh, Cincinnati Reds and the Boston Red Sox in the '75 series. Um, Red Machine won it, but the Sox were, were pretty great. So I, mm. I, I I'm I'm cool with the Red Sox. Yeah. I'm cool with the Boston Celtics. And I understand the Patriots. I'm cool I with mean, the Bruins. Yeah. You know, but the yeah. Patriots. Yeah. You know, yeah. Well, I, I, I get it. I get it. Know. It's okay. I don't. I don't dislike them, but I just don't root no, for them. No, I get it. But I like. You I don't like have the to. guys in the team. Just like with the Yankees, mm -hmm. I used to really, really dig Thurman Munson. You know, Ron Guidry, Louisiana Lightning, Greg Nettles over at third. You know. Dallas Cowboys, Roger Staubach. You I'm a Troy not, Aikman fan myself. You could not ask for a better A quarterback, B person. Roger Staubach's a good fellow. He's just a good guy. Tony Dorsett back then. Um, oh, Drew, Tony Dorsett, I know. Drew Pearson was from, I know Drew was Pearson. from South River, New Jersey, right mm -hmm. here. Okay, um, and he and he never doesn't admit it. Unlike uh, number seven for the Redskins, <laughs> sounds like Heisman. Um, you know. I like the guys. I just can't. It's understandable. Root for the team. It's okay. I'm just saying. I'm all right with it. I'm just saying. I'm okay. It's all. It's all I'm right. Not like, I'm Listen, not like one of and I don't just and I don't dislike the Giants. Like, you know, I don't. I, I don't dislike the Giants. Right. Right. I right. really don't. Even though they, they beat us twice, um, and I told you, my best friend loves the Giants. Yeah, but they were entertaining. Yeah, games. it was great games, and and smoke. you know, and I like. There's I I just I don't dislike the Giants. The Eagles, however. Oh yeah. Well. I hate yeah. them. The Giants. Yeah. I like the Giants. I even like the Jets over the Eagles. Eagles are like uh, garbage. But that's the same with Yankees. I, I'll watch the Mets all day long. Of course. I'll never watch the Yankees. Sorry. Bye. I, I don't. Peace. You know, even when there's only the Yankees on, I just, I just, ugh, you know, just my, dad will, my dad will say, well, we got baseball. The Mets are traveling today, but the Yankees are on. You want to watch? I'm like, you can no. watch it. No. You can watch it. Okay. No. <laughs>
What's the point, anyways? Once Derek Jeter was gone, I was done. Jeter I mean, was cool. See, there's another one. Yeah. I really liked him and his play and how he was. You never heard a boo about him off the field. Yeah. All you heard, all you heard about was his his play. You never saw him in the tabloids in the newspapers. I mean, you know, even even back in the '70s, you know, it was always about Billy Martin and Reggie Jackson fighting. It was fun to watch, but you know, I, the Mets have always been my team. Yeah, I like the Mets, and they're doing very well. Mets they're they're playing. They're right. playing very well. No, they're playing well. They're consistent, they're and that's the thing. They've, they've won twenty. They're, they've lost twenty. They're consistent. Three and a half games out. Phils. I, I got to tell you, the Phillies have a nice club this year. They really do. The Phillies coach is the hottest thing on the planet. Gabe Kapler. Oof, you man, like Gabe he's Kapler? good looking. Oh. Man, he's good looking. What's up, Gabe? Dude, he is a good looking man. That's not <laughs> even. F- no, that's not even right. <laughs> First of all, you shouldn't you shouldn't a be a coach and look like that. Like he looks like he's stepped out of like an Abercrombie and Fitch catalog. I mean, he looks like a freaking model. Hello there, I'm Gabe Kapler. Like I don't even think like sometimes like I saw an interview with him and I was I couldn't even I didn't even know what he was talking about. <laughs> he couldn't concentrate. No, I couldn't. And he was talking with did his. You, did you need a towel? You okay? <laughs> I, I was like, what the hell? And I you know, mind you, I don't really pay attention to the Phillies, so oh. I'm watching. Oh. It just went down. Oh, shoot. Speaking so, you know, I watch Thank ESPN, you know, so, right. I- you know, the highlights come up, and they were interviewing him, you know, at the beginning of the season. And, um, a little distracted, were you? I was like, <laughs> who the hell is that? Now, first I thought it was a player, because, like, a lot of, there's a lot of nice looking players. Of course. But the coaches usually aren't good looking. I mean, they're older or they're, you know, they're a little worn, you know, whatever. But I'm, uh, listen, I said there's no freaking way he's the coach of this team because he looks like a, a GQ model. Uh, I don't know what was going on. I, said, I, I literally was like I was in shock. And I was like, I don't even know. How does he even know about baseball? He's too pretty. Sorry about that. Pardon me, folks. I had to raise my chair. I had he's to too pretty. He's too, he's yeah, it's weird. Like, how do you take him seriously? Like, I can't even. He's talking about like you know the the the, the pitcher and and his third baseman and you know how they're doing, blah blah blah. And I'm like, I don't even, I don't even care what you're talking about. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> no, I, he can be saying, <laughs> and I'd be like, whoa, yeah, he's really good looking. <laughs> Dude, like, it's not normal. Like, I'm just saying. Like, as a, like, I'm just saying, as a, it's like it's not even like he's just like a good looking guy because there's a lot of good looking guys out there. You know, I mean, there's handsome guys. John's a handsome man. There's like a handsome people, but he's like, b- there's some. He's b- beyond like his like his face is perfectly tanned. <laughs> his eyes are perfect. He just came from his lips are all Florida. full. His oh lips are all boy. full, and his teeth are super white and straight. His body he has like six pack abs, and he's all like sweaty and shit. Like, what the hell is that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where do we see, where do we see this everywhere? Six- Look. Th- Google his name, which I did. <laughs> Google his name and put images. That man is ridiculously attractive. It's like it's it's wrong. I don't think he should be a coach, because I think like if you are watching baseball, you're not you like oh what happened? I don't know. <laughs> Where's the coach? Can you show the coach? What's his name again? I don't even know. Gabe Kapler. Gabe Kapler. Damn, he's. Attractive. Fine, yo. It's wrong. <laughs> you know what my problem is? I no, I, I, I. <laughs> you know, <laughs> if you tee it up like that, someone's gonna hit it. I'm gonna refrain. Because I, no. I seriously, I seriously, I, I, I mean, how old is Gabe Kapler? Lack of action. I mean, I don't like know. Thir- like, how old is Gabe Kapler? Oh, I have no idea. He might thirty be, something. No, I'm thinking he's probably in his forties. Well, no, he's up. not. Look it up. That, if he's in his forties. You're, we're, no. we're going, we're I going think to he Citizens. looks super we're young. Do a, Gino, we got to do a live broadcast from Citizens Bank Park. With, oh, my home God. Game, and then I'm, I'm right behind the dugout. I got to wear something <laughs> to protect myself from all the, the <laughs> leakage. <laughs> <laughs> Frontal leakage. Yes, oh, my God. He, was, he was born in uh, 1975. So How does he look like that? He's 45. He's 44. I could date him. How, why does he look like that? I told you. He's why is it? Why? Oh my God! You're early in personal life. Is he? Shit. Does he have a family? Uh, he probably does. Oh, damn I mean, it. they usually do. <laughs> Listen, I'm not. I don't have a shot in hell with this man. But I'm just saying, like, how the hell? If is, you don't take it, how do you? How do you even look like that? And I don't understand it. All my female listeners, Google that image, and you'll understand what I'm saying. <laughs> Gabe Kapler with a Gabe K. Gabe Kapler. Kapler. It's wrong. Philly's it's manager. like super effed up that he looks like that. I tell you what, and he was he was on the on the hot seat for a while last 
I forget what it was, but the beginning of last season, Why he, would he, pull, do? Oh, he, he pulled some super bonehead moves. I mean, just like because he's too pretty. <laughs> That's not why. Oh, that's not, he, he, oh. was, he, was, he was new to the job. He was never a manager of a major league ball club ever before. And uh, I think he had a case of the yips where he was just doing stuff that you, you just, I forget what it was, that you just don't do. And, um, you know, the sports uh, media was all on top of him. Like, just, how could he do that? How stupid is this guy? No, no. no. And then all of a sudden he got that team whipped around doing well. And then they kind of unfolded toward the end of the season. But now. Look at this. Bullshit. Come on. That's me? Yes. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. No, no. Yes, it is. Stop. Yes, it is. I'm telling you right now. Stop that's him. Over Look. There. Look at him. Oh, that's him. We yeah, know that. Him. Yeah. But yeah, he, he takes care of his his look, that's him. There too. Holy socks. Look at that guy. That's what I'm talking this is what I'm trying to I tell didn't you. I look that good when I looked that good. Th- this is <laughs> what I'm trying to tell <laughs> What the look? Come on. Gene, you got a r- Ruben, right. you got you got some It's uh, not right. Roll of paper this towels out ra- there. No, this is wrong. This is wrong. You can't be a coach of a major league baseball team and look like that. Yeah, Sorry. You can. No, you can't. Every, no, well, look no. at him evidently. No, I don't even know what he does. You're washing clothes on his abs, I have like, to say. I don't understand it. Look. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> There's some extra extra Oh, uh, I already have <laughs> tissues. Are oh, you brought me more tissues in case I have a leakage? <laughs> Exactly. Jesus. <laughs> We're just looking out for you. <laughs> I don't understand it. I just I just think it's hilarious. Oh, well. I just think it's funny because everyone looks at athletes and talks about athletes. I mean, as far as women go, you know, but no one ever talks about the coach. And I'm like, where did where did he come from? I don't know. And he's in his forties. Well, he, he was a player. He's in his forties. He was a player. Oh. He was a former player. Now, I wish now. my comedian friend John Provaramo was in his forties. You okay? Something's wrong with me. I think I'm going through a midlife crisis. What do you need? Talk to me, baby. I don't tell me, know. Tell me something. I need, <laughs> I need therapy. <laughs> That's what I need. I need therapy. Oh, boy. I hate, I don't want to age. I don't want to get old. I know. I just want to be, you know what I want to do? I want to go to a club and dance and get drunk. <laughs> I do. I don't drink, but, you know. Just but you know all the young people be like, look at that old lady dancing <laughs> in the club. What's wrong with her? <laughs> she's like 60. No, like, she's not. No. <laughs> what, those, what those young knuckleheads. You know, yeah, yeah. The ones, yeah, that's true. That's she's true. Been, she's been ready to retire. Look at her. J-Lo she's is 50. Like, Let's get yeah. that out in the open. J-Lo is 50. Yes. We, we've, we've, we've Jennifer Aniston is 51. And I know y'all would bang them, so you can bang me too. She's a darn fine looking woman. She is a good looking woman. Mm. You know mm. what I mean? Like, mm. think about it. If I was an actress and had all these, like, uh, trainers and makeup people and hair people, I would be a hot piece of ass, too. That's all there is to it. I don't want to talk about it. There's I'm getting depressed. There's a self-deprecation. I'm getting depressed it. now. Stop. Whatever. <laughs> what the hell's happening to me? What's going on? It's time taking. What's life all about? <laughs> like, what are you supposed to, like, what's going on? Like, don't you, what do you want to do, John, with your life? What do I want to, Like, right now. If you could do anything you wanted, what would you do right now? Boy, that's uh, quick um, answer. Uh, what constraints do I have? None. None. No money. No no object. Well, you know what I would do. I you would you would have your trains. Yep. You would have your own football team, probably. Mm, no. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Your own, like, you know, not pro Perfect. football. Oh but yeah. Like no no no. It would it wouldn't be like NFL, but it no, would be like like, like, arena. like a, yeah yeah yeah. Arena football. Yep. Right right mm-hmm. right. Um, I have a couple places where I put it too. Um, or I'd come over to these hunyaks over here in, in uh, Trenton and say, how much you want for this chicken rodeo? I'm going to buy it from you. What else would you have? Let's see. Um, you would have, w- would you have your own like radio show? No, you haven't. Well, what do you mean? What am I missing? Uh, I, I do voice. I do a lot of voice work. Well, yes. That, I, that's I wouldn't. I, you know what? At this, there, like was, there, was a time, there was a time several several years ago. Pardon me, where I thought, uh, yep, I would, I would like to have my own station one day, and uh, you know what, I do not. Yeah, no, I, I no longer do, uh, for a variety well, your of reasons. Dreams change, dreams, dreams change as you get older, because you realize, like I, I had my own dance studio, and it was great, and then uh, the opportunity came recently that I may be able to have another dance studio. And I, you know, looked into it a little bit, looked into the rent of the space. Right. And then I started thinking about it in my head. I said, do I want this responsibility right now? Right. And I really don't. And that's where it boils down to. I don't to. want it. You eh. know, that's what it boils down to. That's, that's why it. with this whole train 
semi-business. All I need is about, let's see, um, five, maybe six dozen dates a year to have it out there for people to enjoy and pay for the privilege, but not much, like three, right. four bucks a ride. Right. But like 60 to 70 dates a year. Right. And I'm gold. That's it. I'm done. And then from about Halloween to about, I don't know, St. Patty's Day or Easter, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing a thing. Not doing a thing. Mm. Um, you know, but it's just a matter of getting it going. And even if not, I would, again, now what was in my 20s and early to mid 30s, I would like to own a radio station, even a little local AM like my, my Why friend Why don't you just does. buy this thing? I, 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 don't, I really don't want to. I mean, there was, I, we had some conversations uh, where that was, that was kind of an did. undercurrent, you yeah. know, yeah. but I, I, nah, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. I don't, I don't need. I'm good. I, I, she's good. I don't it's need. It's good. I don't need that, that constant, you know, the phone, ring, you know, hold, hold on, I gotta take this. Yeah. What do you mean it won't start? Or yeah, no, I don't. Yeah, want to do what do you mean the microphones aren't working? I want to just. I yeah, what do you mean farm. Carlo's all angry because the thing won't go on the air? I mean, you know, I, 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 I want to have a farm. I don't need. Yeah, I don't need that either. But too much work. No, no, you don't. No, I don't. I I don't want to like do work. <laughs> I just want to have a farm. <laughs> I'm gonna buy that farm and I'm gonna let it go to pot. Giddy up. No, I'm gonna <laughs> hire people to take care of it. Or have goats. But the, 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 you know, have them eat, eat the, cut the grass. You know? Like, okay. yeah, they'll cut the grass on their own, and they'll eat all the poison ivy. Well, yeah. You know what I mean? I do. Oh. No, I'd, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to with my trains, whether it's the, the, the ride-ons or the, or the small ones, inside or outside, I would like uh, to do, and, uh, and we're, we're getting there, which is nice. I mean, just coincidentally, I would like to do um, a goodly amount of voice work to, uh, have that basically be my gig, mm. you know, um, and I would if the, if and this is this is back to the football. The dominoes would really have to fall almost perfectly, but I would like to have a pro indoor um, arena team like the New Jersey, like the Jersey Flight over here in Trenton. Um, you know, I there there are some places that I that I would like to put it. You know, uh, arenas. Uh, Northeast PA, uh, South Central Pennsylvania. There's a couple few. Um, Berks County over toward the Reading area. I mean, places that are just football hungry that would support it. If you, but you got to do it right. right. You can't cheap it. You can't try to shoestring it like these clowns did over here a couple few times in Trenton. Nice people, but they just is it Trenton or Trenton? I say Trenton. I say Trenton. Yeah, I. Uh, what you got about your that? Like, ah, Trenton. Well, I just found out. Trenton. I just found out that C- Sewell is not Sewell. No, it's Sewell. I never knew that. I always called it Sewell. Sewell. I didn't know it's spelled Sewell. I know. And uh, someone corrected me today. Sewell. I was on the phone and I said Sewell, and the person in the back goes Sewell. I go what? Sewell. Oh yeah. That's like Worcester. You're Worcester. Yeah, it's Worcester. Yeah. Sewell. <laughs> Sewell. <laughs> Trenton. I don't know. It's confusing. I, just, I say Scranton. I say Trenton. Scranton. Uh, yeah, that's You're pronouncing right. the T's. I, I am. Are you supposed to pronounce the T's? Why not? It's there. Pronounce it. Uh, Who told you not to? Nobody. Thank you. Thank I you. I thought that's just the way it is. <laughs> that's just the way it is. That's like when people say uh, it, it's all about truth. True. Who says that? A lot of people. Truth. Say, man, it's all about the truth. Uh, no, it's time. truth. No, I know. I saw a piece. Truth. I saw a piece on what was it, CVS this morning, about some guys who were wrongfully convicted of some stuff like 30 years ago. Finally got out, and they're going around the room saying, "Listen, so what have you learned about this?" And the one guy's like, "Man, the one thing I learned is to always tell the truth." First of all, they've been in prison I for how many years? So I, it, I'm ta- I, I'm they, ta- weren't, they weren't taught that when they were kids in school. They don't. They don't even remember what they were doing as kids in school. They were just in prison for forty Clearly. years. What the hell do they remember? N- but that's not the Give point. Me a break. That's not the point. That's okay. not even. Truth is not a word. Neither is axe. Right. <laughs> so if well, you want to go is. there, it is when you yeah use when you're one. chopping a tree down. But I not when know. you inquire. About a situation with a question. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what's <laughs> going on right now. I have no idea. I don't know what's happening. Oh, you know. I do know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Whatever. Let that be a lesson to you. What's the lesson? Tell the truth. Tell the, the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I hate liars. 
You know what? I, I hate people who lie. I really do. Like, this is the thing. Listen, we all fabricate, but just as a well, matter of course to be, you know, a perpetual liar. Do you that lie? Sucks. Like, I mean, I think like lying to your friends. Like the biggest thing to me is honesty and and uh, and the loyalty. It's Those the are my policy. two things: honesty and loyalty. That makes a good friend. But when your friend isn't loyal and isn't honest, I, I'm done. I'll write him off. I've done it. Oh, I hear you. Where I'm like, I'm done. See ya. You know, we're talking. I was talking that, about that with a friend of mine. And she was saying that she stopped being friends with someone, you know, because she, whatever she did. And I said, listen, friendships are like relationships. Yeah. It's like you're dating somebody. Because the only difference is you're not having sex with them. Or maybe you are. I don't know. But, yeah. but you know, <laughs> but it's still, you still deal with the same thing. You still deal with loyalty and honesty. And, you know, you, you, ha- you go out together. You hang out together. You sh- talk on the oh, phone together. That's what a friendship is. Chris, I told you, I had, I had a, 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 a friend who I, who I still, to a degree, consider as close to a brother as I've ever had for 47 years. And he was the guy gonna he was going to originally participate in the program from time to time. Yes. It wasn't honesty, but it was a version of loyalty. Mm-hmm. When you, after 47 years, and after a, a hunk of that 47 years, he and I talking about, boy, one day we should get on the radio and do stuff together. All this, all this oh, funny yeah. business that people that about. people like, and it's funny. We should get on. We should get our own show, dude. I've got our own. Uh, I've got a show. I need you as a featured guest every week on it. On, on Tuesday, it was, yeah, sounds good. On Wednesday, a half this. an hour before the stupid show starts, it's, I don't trust you. I remember that. You what? What are you trying to do? I don't trust you. Who do you think you are? What What is this? I don't know anything about it. All you need to know is I got you, and this is going to be fun. Nope, I don't trust you. Then you know what? Right on this phone. Boop. Done. Goodbye. And you never spoke to him again? I have not spoken to him since. Wow. That was like a, a while ago. May 31st. Oh, my God. May thirty for almost a year ago. Yeah, wow. And I and you know what? Something goes on, and I need to know about what's going on in his life, or if he wants to, he knows how to reach me. That's messed up. Yeah, you, got, you know. I mean, I went through it. You know, I I had so a friend who was uh, <laughs> I shouldn't say had. She's still kind of my friend, but not really. But it's hard to say. But uh, she was my friend for twenty seven years, twenty six, twenty seven years. Right. Um. And it was a question of loyalty. It was just uh, it was a question of honesty and loyalty, both. Right. And, you know, when when just my thing is just be honest with me. I understand if you don't want to tell me something or something's bothering you and you're afraid to tell me, it's better to tell me and just deal with the consequences than not tell me and hide shit and tell other people and talk behind your back. And then you find out uh-uh. through, through the vine. First of all, don't talk about me in a negative way behind my back when I've been your friend for 26 years. Don't do it. Because guess what? It gets back to me, and you're done. Oh, and that's how. the way I look at it. Uh, you know, I, I supported this person for many, many, many years. I hear you. And well, that's the way guy, it is. You know, you know? He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's an old Queens, New York guy. Mm. And brash, opinionated, just... Wow, right there in your face. But you know what? He's got, and I will say, I mean, I, I don't know that he does it, but he's got a good heart. He's got a good soul. And uh, he is the living, breathing definition of he means well. But he just doesn't have an edit button. So, you know, you get that you get that New York, you know, turned up to 11. And, uh, you know, all growing up with, with one group of people or one group, association or another i'm doing nothing but playing damage control for this guy didn't even know it 95 percent of the time it was you gotta you know who does this sound like you understand something okay <laughs> you gotta understand something this you know this is what you see and hear but this is what's going on in his head oh i didn't oh i can see how that could happen right that's exactly what's going and if i had a nickel for every time i smoothed something over knowingly or not you know, we'd be having we'd be having steak and lobster for a month of Sundays. Ooh, okay. I wouldn't and have the steak, but I definitely would have the lobster. Lobster, lobster. And, and then forty-seven years in, nope, I don't trust you. You know what? Eat. That's so my weird, though. Like, shorts. where does that even? That's so weird, though. I, I don't like, know it's where just it came a weird. From. Like, I, I I'm trying to understand it because it's it's, you know, he asked you you asked him to be in the show. Yeah. He agreed to do it. Yeah. Time came. He said he doesn't trust then you. I, then I, but then what I, is it that what I motivates no him to say that? I have no idea because I'm I like because the first thing here's the first thing he did. Okay, I'm like what? 
you know, high volume on the phone. What? Are you effing kidding me? Are you out of your mind? And, he, and the first thing he did is zing me with, whoa, whoa, take it easy. Are you having a diabetic moment or something there? I'm like, um, okay, don't know what that's all about. But, you know, we've been talking about doing this for how many years? And now I've got a, I've got a way for you to get in, and you're giving me this? You know what? I don't trust you. What do you mean you don't trust me? After 47 years? Nope, I don't. I don't know nothing about it. I'm not there. But that, the, but that, okay, you know what? Boom, done. I'm done. I'm done. You know, the switch right here went off, and it's black ice for that guy. Right. Right That's it's black it's ice. Done. Sad. I'm done. It's a little bit sad to hey, me. It is, but, but you know what? You it's, know? I had to say it was a long time coming. Well, see, there's a, you're saying there's like a history. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Now, nothing like that. But just, you know, there were times, now, again, younger, we were kids. We were in junior high or high school when we would get after it. But you know what? He's an only child. I'm an only child. So all the way through the rest of junior high and high school and afterwards till he moved to, moved to Florida with his family in 84, you know, we were like peas and carrots, okay? He was, br- he was the... I prefer peas. Well, then I'll be the carrots. I prefer okay. carrots. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> you know, we were the ones, like when we would go out to the movie trying to pick up the girl behind the popcorn counter, he was the one that was over the top. He was Costello. I'm a bad boy. Mm. And I was the straight guy. Okay, uh, he was he was the character. I was the straight guy. That's how we did. You miss it. him, in a way. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, but I don't miss the bullshit. Yeah, I just don't because you know what? I'm 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 too old. I've had enough. I've had enough. Well, that's what it is. You get and to the, a point. Uh, it's and like you're going to question my loyalty, so yeah. to speak. That's weird. In a roundabout way, after damn near five decades. Yeah, it's <laughs> bizarre. No. Well, I hope he's listening, and maybe no, he's he. Not. He has no idea what it is because he's he. He's I'm a curmudgeon. Let me tell you something. I am kindergarten curmudgeon compared to this guy. Oh, oh and he and he wears the badge loudly and proudly. Uh, okay, he doesn't even. I mean, he's he's very um, net and web savvy. He he really is. He's very creative. I mean, some of the, one of the some of the best stuff I've ever seen in my life Whoa. has co- creativity has come out of his mouth and and or onto some paper or onto a screen. But if he doesn't want to know about something, I could tell him eighty six times. Just log on to HamiltonRadio.net. And he, what? What? Uh, yeah. Is it, you know what? <laughs> Done. <laughs> 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 then don't. Don't do it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Here's me not caring. You been watching any uh, television lately or anything? Oh, you know what I did? What'd I you did watch? Just for you. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> oh, you did? I hate it is now. American Idol. I hate it now. I know you do. That's why I watched it because I'm you so missed. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Alejandro, he's pretty good. He's good. I like him. I like him. He's a dishwasher. He was. Right. Not anymore. He will not be anymore. Mm-mm. I I like him because I like his style. I like the American way he Idol, sings. For those of you in uh, uh, Mackinac, Pennsylvania, I I do. But he's not. Um, he's not. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not flexible. That's what I'm looking for. Like he can't sing. He he. Whatever he sings, it sounds like him. There's Got no it. his his style. Well, oh, okay. You know. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, I don't know. The person I really like. They, uh, it was, is gone. Who was it again? Um, it was, uh, 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 Jeremiah. Jeremiah was his name. I really liked him (coughs) and he's gone now. So I kind of, and, uh, right now I like that kid, that other kid, he's cute. I think I'm I'm having a problem here. I think I'm like looking at this, like young kids and (laughs) (laughs) I'm like Mary Kay Latorno. I mean, like, <laughs> 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 what's happening to me? Sometimes I'm looking at boys that are like hey 20 now. years old going, hey. hey now. Um, but yeah, I, I do like him the best. I don't like. Um, the big kid? Uh, he's gone. Well, they voted him off. They voted him off. The three left is the girl, one girl, the brunette. Right. right. Uh, Alejandro. Yep. And like the, the the cute w- the one with the nice teeth. Right, right, right. Um, yeah. I, I they got rid of uh, 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 the one you just said. Shiny jacket. Yeah, he's, like he's gone. <laughs> oh, that, that's the yeah, yeah. The, yeah. The guy who's gone is the the bigger guy. Um, right. He's gone, and then the country girl, the blonde country girl, who should have been gone anyway. She's well. very sweet, very nice voice. Don't get me wrong, but she just isn't uh, versatile. That's the that's word I was looking like for. Versatile, versatile not flexible. Her back. They saved her and. And now she's off. No, oh, she's off. Yeah, they saved her. That's right. Right. They saved her instead of Jeremiah. Jeremiah. So it was or between her. 
It was between her and Jeremiah, and they took her, and I was pissed Very because angry. he was vocally ten times stronger than her. But it was because the America only voted on one girl. And there was three boys, so they didn't want to put another boy. Mm. So I think that's why they did it. Mm. I know that's why they did it. Interesting. Because I knew she wasn't going to go all the way. There was no way. And sure enough, she's gone. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm so I'm done Sunday. with that show. I got, I got yeah. home early on Sunday because it was just nasty out. We just oh you know, sucked. Please. Friggin', we live in Seattle. <clears throat> yeah. Horrible. It's true. Yeah. So you know, I got home early. You know, we did our little boogie up the Poconos on uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It was very nice. And I got home and I'm like, okay, I'm, the ball games were rained out. And uh, what am I going to watch? I'm doing some stuff in the evening. I'm like, ah, okay, why not? Because I knew you were not going to watch it. Yeah. And <laughs> what did you think? You know, not a whole lot has changed from the old days. I mean, you know, uh, as far as as far as far um, the generalities of it, the, uh, the thing I do like, uh, and I had forgotten about this, is that uh, the, the performers are – able and I guess somewhat encouraged to play an instrument if they if they can in, uh, include that in their uh, in their presentation. I mean the one guy was playing uh, guitar, uh, Alejandro Alejandro playing, was playing piano. Alejandro 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 That's uh, an ABBA song, is it not? Mm -hmm. No, <coughs> is it Chiquita? Oh no, Alejandro. Yeah, and then Fernando as well. And Fernando, Fernando and Alejandro? I don't remember. Oh god. Keep you talking about it while I look. <laughs> I can look up everything. Oh look how boy. pretty Gwyneth Paltrow and Chris Martin's daughter is Apple. She's pretty. Look how pretty she turned out. Uh, now, who's this? That's Gw 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 Gwyneth Paltrow, Paltrow and yeah. Chris Martin from who's Coldplay, the lead singer of Coldplay. Uh, That's their daughter. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Huh. It's crazy. Anyway, so Alejandro. what am I looking up? Alejandro. 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 So what were you saying? I, I, I like the fact that they play instruments, you know, if, if and when they're they're able to, you know. Because in the early days, remember, it was just singing. That's it. Right. There was no, no playing. Right, right. You know, um, not that they, I don't know if they excluded it, but it certainly wasn't included. And that's fine. You know, I enjoyed it, like we said last week back then. But I like the fact that they were able to play, you know. And uh, I don't know. I, I, I didn't find any of them bad. Well, Lady Gaga has a song called Le Lady Alejandro. That might be it. No. You wouldn't remember no. it. Are you thinking of Fernando? No, I know what Fernando was. I was in seventh grade when it, when that came out. Oh, why don't I have to look it up? Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, thank you. There it is. There it is. By Aber. I found it. Oh, Aber? Yeah, oh, Aber. that's Fernando. Yeah. Lady, oh, go no, wait. Alejandro. Fernando Alejandro. No, that's Fernando. I'm confused. That's Lady Gaga. That's Fernando versus Alejandro. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble. Oh, it's Alejandro going. versus Fernando. Alejandro versus Fernando. In the red corner. Oh, un poquito español en español. Esp All over your birthday cake. See. Si. <laughs> <laughs> Not with my sister, you know. Uh, oh my God! So what are you doing like this weekend? What are you? What's going on in your well, life? Well, it's Tell a, me, are uh, you traveling? Are you? Yes. What are you doing? I am. Um, I'm back out to Pennsylvania on uh, Saturday morning. I've got to go all the way out to Dubois because Jack uh, is. Uh, it, we're moving him out of his room there at uh, Penn State Dubois. He's still in school. No, he's oh. been home for two weeks. He just has till the end of the no, month. No, I mean he's still in school. Yeah, one more. He's got one. Uh -huh. But don't forget, he took a year and a half off. That's I forgot. That's right. Okay. I was like, what's he doing still in school? That's right. He I was forgot. like, you know, I don't know what I want to do. I'm not doing real great. I'm not feeling well. I pulled, I pulled several muscles playing basketball. And coach is angry with me because he thinks I'm, you know, loafing. So he took a year and a half off, and I would have done the same damn thing. He and I are so similar in how things are unfolding. Well. At he is his father's son. At this point, mm -hmm. well, I, we got talking the other day. I said, son, here's the thing. When I, I, I graduated in four years, but that year after was like, you know, what am I doing? Um, the year after I graduated was I took a job because it was there, and I couldn't stand it. And as soon as I could, I got the heck out of it. And uh, it, was a, it took me a year, but I finally got back into the, you know, the radio realm. Okay, as a young kid, 20, right. 23 years old, I started at, uh, at Lamedy Broadcasting out in uh, Williamsport, WILQ and WLYC. What, what he did he quit? Um, what was he doing that he quit? 
again, he, his health wasn't good. He was he had long story short, he had some health issues. Okay. Um, and again, playing basketball, he pulled he pulled a leg muscle badly, and the coach kept thinking he was just loafing and dogging it. It was a le- it's a groin pull, and those things take several months to come back. And he was trying to come back in several days and a couple few weeks, and he just couldn't do it. So between that, um, plus at that point, um, there were some other other personal things going on at home. He's like, you know what, I'm I'm not there, and I'm out. The good news is, is shortly after he did that, he kind of began to figure out what he wanted to do when he would fire up his academics again. So about a year and a half later, back he went. So when he's 23, he'll be on his way to do what he wants to do. How old was I when I was on the way to doing what I wanted to do? 22. 23. 23. 23. Okay. I took that. F- I had that funky year right after I graduated. He had that funky year right in between. That's the only difference. So we're going out there to Du Bois, which is about 100 miles east of the Ohio border. That's a trip. Mm. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Uh, yeah. And uh, we're doing that first thing on Saturday, 4 o'clock on Saturday, about 30 miles in, 30 miles east of there. We've got a football game. Ooh! All the way out in Phillipsburg, Pennsylvania, out past PA. college. Yeah. So I've got that. That's so, exciting. Well, you know, if if we if we've got two more games to go, we've got this week and we've got June first. We're off for Memorial Weekend. The whole league is. If we win the two and some dominoes with some other teams fall a certain way, we just may make the playoffs. Don't know. Your Monmouth Rage. Oh, sorry, Monmouth. <laughs> Monmouth. You know what? I'm on like NewJersey.com and they have this uh, New Jersey's best bars, neighborhood bars, and there's like a, you got to vote. Yeah. It's like a thousand bars on this list. Well, get, get voting. Hurry I up. mean, <laughs> like, what, what is like, uh, shouldn't you do it by like city? Like, you know, like it's, it's like every, I mean. Uh, it's alphabetically. Like what is happening? No, but look how many there are. There's a bunch. Oh, here's Trenton. What's in Trenton? Mill Hill Saloon. Where's that? Mill Hill Saloon? Where's Couldn't that? Check. What the Couldn't hell is tell that? You. South Amboy has the has the highest concentrations of bars, pubs, Is taverns. that true? Yes. Um, than any other place in the country. It's only one square mile, but there are more bars in that town, or at least there were, in South Amboy, New Jersey, than any place else in the country. JoJo's Tavern. I, I know that one. I can vote for that. Got I know that logo. one. They have really, really good pizza. Uh, y- yes, that's their I've pies heard, are I've good. I should say pie. Sorry, yeah, cheese pie. Their pies are good, but look, uh, pizza pie. I can't vote on that. I can't vote on that. I can't. To, no, I can't. So I'm looking at like what's going on in New Jersey because since we're in New Jersey, I'm finding nothing. <laughs> yeah. New Jersey's boring. Other than high taxes and you know uh, traffic everywhere you look, we ain't got nothing going on right now. You realize it's uh, only. Not even two weeks until Memorial Day weekend. Listen, if we have bad weather on Memorial Day weekend, I'm going to be so angry. I'm going to be so... Because you know what it is? And you know what's weird about this weather? I'll tell you what's weird about it. Go ahead. That I truly believe that whenever the calendar came out, like the human calendar, what, what, when do you think that came out? How oh. many centuries ago? Like... Like when was it? When did the back human during Roman times the uh, the the current right. time kind of calendar? Yeah, I mean, right? Like, yeah. so you know who dictated who when was winter, spring, summer, and fall, right? So this is my question: Do you really think that the world is exactly the same as it was back then? No, no, absolutely not. Do you think the solar system is the same as it was that back then? No. Probably not. So I think there are less changes to the solar system than, than there what are there are to correct, the Correct, because man kind of destroyed a lot of stuff on this planet. But my thing is I this. Even, is I, I'm not even counting that possible. What are, you, what are you saying? I'm just saying because of it's, it's a component of the greater mass, okay? Just time and, and existence, just like us, right. just like a person will alter a planet. And my I have no proof of this. I'm just thinking out loud because I call it, <laughs> we used to do this years ago, I call it the Minier theory because a guy used to work with Ted Minier 
Oh, it wasn't um, that long ago. Yeah, it was... Um, 1582. Oh, well, there you go. But that's a long time. I mean, gee. No, it's a long time ago, but I, for some reason... In the big scheme of things, it's not. You're right. 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 I thought it was um, older, but... I did, too. 1582 but, but, is but when the Ted calendar... Mayer, we would talk about things like this because we would we would, we would would have, like, first day of spring events. We would have Memorial and, and Independence Day and Labor Day events for the various stations, and it seemed like from... I don't know, even even the the late eighties till uh I don't know, just a few years ago, that everything is now later. Okay? Like the winter starts on the calendar same time, but it, it actually starts later. Oh wait, the Roman calendar started in seven seventy eight BC. Aha. Uh -huh. That's the another calendar. Boom. So we're, I'm talking with our calendar was the date I said. That's our calendar, but calendars in general, as far as keeping time, right. started like back a long time ago. Um, so you know BC, uh, but then you know obviously the calendar changed and changed and changed, and then it became a more modern day calendar. Well, I think things are things are starting. Things are happening 15, later. 1582. You know what I mean? Well, uh, you know, winter is <laughs> December 21st on the calendar. Right. Why, why in the hell, for so well, many years, these last however many years, is it 45, 55, 70 degrees? And it's not snowing. And it doesn't snow in December. And when it it's does, like we had that snow a couple of years ago in November, it was that it was. It that was a, we it had was that weird freak, squall. Like it was a freak. This, yeah. Heavy that was this winter. Wet, no, it was two years ago. There was one this winter, too, then. Back in November, where okay. all, all the, it was the heavy, wet break in the branches. Okay. Yeah, we had that this year, too. When? This past November. Oh, that's right. We did. Yeah, we had like a one a freak See, one day I, storm. I so do not like snow. Yeah. I don't even like. But the remember. weird thing is, is that but everything yeah, starts later now. It okay? does. Spring, everything does. Spring is uh, is coming. It it, it was forty eight degrees yesterday. Yeah. Now it's like sixty eight. Okay, fine. But it started. This is like the beginning of April. It's starting later. Right. And that's okay? that's my point. Like April showers bring May flowers, but no. Right now we're in May. It's actually April. That's what I think. I think I think we're delayed. Things are starting later. Yeah, I think we're delayed. Yep, and, and I, I th think and I think it's just a it's, it's just a weird kind of dichotomy, a natural evolution of the world as it literally turns or or goes through its its whole deal, you know, out in space. I have no proof of this. I really don't. But all I know, gee, in in okay, in 1981, over Christmas break. It was one below zero out, okay, and it would snow when it was very cold. And I would, I would always have work shoveling snow around the neighborhood through high school and even when I came home for college, okay. That doesn't happen anymore. No, that's what I'm saying. It just does. It's weird. And when it does, it's like you know February, you know, twenty fifth. Uh. Yeah, there's something I'm telling you. There's something going on here, and I think that's why the weather we're having. I think the weather we're having is the right, the right weather for April. This is good. Ape. This is April weather that we're having right now. Uh, okay, I get it. And that's what I think is going on. I mean, uh, something, something, something's up where everything's like later. It's true. No, it's because the because the calendar was made too long ago, and they didn't they, they didn't update it. Just like they they came out with daylight savings time. That's not that old. Daylight savings no, time not. came out. Let's see. When was daylight? Well, ben saving? Franklin invented it. And what year was that? Though? In the seventeen hundreds. Yeah. So daylight savings time, but they adjusted. Based on darkness, lightness, and so on. Well, they just added two more weeks on on both ends. It, it, it starts earlier and ends two weeks later, so it's not. You know what I mean? And like leap year, who do, wh who came up with leap year? That's designed, I think. And then again, don't don't quote me. It's designed. There's an extra day in there to, to kind of catch up for all the, you know, the previous four years worth of time. I don't know. It's it's, it's beyond my it's beyond my pay grade. <laughs> Now my brain hurts. Thanks. I know. I'm trying to make you think. <laughs> but it's, it's Stop it. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's just so weird. It's just the weird, the northern hemisphere. It's just, it's just bizarre. It's everywhere. It's just bizarre. Well, there's this, Arizona doesn't do daylight savings time. Uh, no, they don't. Right. Now they do Hawaii. Correct. And wasn't Indiana? No, they're, I, think th I think they're on it now. I don't know. I think there was, uh, there's three. Um, there were three that were. Uh, I don't know if it was three states or two states. I don't, you know what I mean? Like this is a portion of Indiana. I hate this laptop. Stock sucks. <laughs> um, <laughs> stock sucks. Sucks. I can't even talk. The boys are it's marching. 
Uh, don't legalize marijuana. Yeah. Did you see the story I posted? Uh, speaking of marijuana, did you see the, the post I put on Facebook? So the heir to the Coca-Cola fortune yes. was arrested for possessing and uh, distributing $5.6 million <laughs> worth of marijuana. <laughs> oh, gee. Uh, excuse me, son. Is that synthetic marijuana? No, here's the real thing. Mm-hmm. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're Thank welcome. You. That was good. That was good. <laughs> yeah. But now here's here's the, is it not enough to be the heir <laughs> to the biggest soda in the world? Apparently is that not. An, is that not enough? Apparently not. Are you kidding me? You're Ask the heir more. to the most popular drink in the world, and you need you need more money. Like you don't you don't have enough money. Do you want more money? I... Who what greedy mother effer he is. Well, greedy bastard. So, and now you had five million dollars worth of weed in your house, and guess what? Now you got arrested for it. Oh, sorry. Well, what? Like, if I was the heir to a multi-billion, trillion, dillion, zillion, yeah, dollar <laughs> industry like Coca-Cola, I would sit back on my ass and appreciate the fine things in life. On I my would be island, which I my own, island, mind you. Bora Bora. I would have like the nice thing. No, I would have I would have you know <laughs> I would have beautiful flamingos in my yard and you I got would have your swans pink, and your pink my, flamingos. You know? But no, he has to be a weed uh, aficionado business. Ooh, aficionado. I don't know what he is. But can you imagine? You the heir I still can't. I can't even believe it's not enough. Like how do you sit back and go, yeah. I'm pretty much going to be the richest guy on the planet. But you know what? It's not enough. I want more. And how do I do that illegally? Yeah. I could s- let's see. The hell I is could that? I could traffic infa- no. No. Uh I I oh I could smuggle people from me- no. no. Be the- you know what? Copious amounts of ganja. Like why? <laughs> I just don't get it. I don't understand how you can you yeah, have all that money and just say, I want to do something well, where I make and more and money. And here's I mean, the thing. it's not like the guy's destitute trying to pay his bills and, you know, no, and, and feed like his that's usually why people and, get into that kind of weird thing. Something right. better for himself. I get that. I, I get that. To me, you know, I, I, I don't know because I, I can't, I can only imagine being, you know, that socially secure, if you will, with my uh, finances to be like, <laughs> whatever, you know, I can do what I, I can do what I want, gosh, you know. I just, I don't get it. And that's, you know. Yeah. The I'm ones who don't sure. do s- daylight savings times, Arizona, Hawaii, right. and the U.S. territories, which is Puerto Rico, Megan's Bay, U.S. Virgin Islands, that kind of thing. Okay. But like major, as far as the 50 states, it's just Arizona, Arizona. Hawaii. Hawaii. Yep. yep. That's it. Huh. Yep. I'll be damned. Yep. I think there for a while, and you're right, they got out of it. Uh, so some there might have been, Some yeah. counties in, I believe, western Indiana didn't as well yeah not anymore no yeah i mean it's i don't know i don't i again back to that whole you know why is it still feeling like the beginning of april when here we're all we're literally half past may um i don't know why you know uh i i'm 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 reticent to jump on that uh, the global warming bandwagon because you know there's so many things (laughs) <laughs> Why do you say global warming like that? Because all the all the nutshells. It's all global warming. Yeah, okay. Everything's freaking global warming. And guess what? Back in '75, everything was it's global cooling. It was on Time magazine. I told you my parents used to get Time magazine, mm-hmm. and I remember seeing it. Global what's cooling. A, what's a magazine? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But well, Dad still gets it. You know, I renewed my subscription to Time magazine. I said, Dad, you can get it online. What? Good that you renewed your sc- subscription. Of course. <laughs> You know, 40 years, 45 years ago, was global cooling. I mean, what's it going to be in another 40 years? Uh, first of all, I'll be uh, dead and won't care. So whatever. You know, it is what it is. I, but I just believe, too, that there's something up where just things things are askew. Things are, again, happening later. Yes. I mean, th- than they used to. That's Gee, w- true. Winter when I was a kid around here was cold. I mean... 
You know, where do you live? Oh, and the little kid, I live in New Jersey. Oh, it's so cold there well, in the winter. Yes, yeah, it is. but, you know, I'm from Massachusetts. It's freaking cold oh, out there. And they're complaining about the same. It's weird because their weather is similar to ours. Now, here's another thing. Mm-hmm. Ohio, where my friend lives, I'll say to her, oh, it's raining here. She's like, yeah, here too. And I'll be like, it's cold here. And she'll be like, yeah, here too. Yep. I'll be like, it's hot here. Yeah, here too. And I go, that's Ohio. It's not even close. I'm like, how, do you have any, how are you, New Jersey... And New England having the exact same weather. Do you do you ever watch, whether it's on your phone or the thing, um, like the, the the radar of when we have these, I don't even want to call them storms, when we have these weather events, okay? They're not just these little pockets that happen over, say, you know, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania anymore. It's this big, giant swath that comes from, you know, uh, Georgia up to Maine, you know, or comes from, you know, Dallas, Texas, up through, like, you know, Pittsburgh. Mm. Uh, What? I mean, it's these big, giant blobs of weather action. Blobs of of weather. weather Action. Action. (laughs) Action. We want action. A-C-T. Action. I-O-N. And that's what we get with the weather. It's this big, giant swath. You know, and in and in Texas and Oklahoma Swath. and and Missouri and and all this, they get the tornadoes because of it being such a severe weather. It, it's a weird world. Action. It's a wild or as world. Or uh, Yusuf Islam would say, it's a wild world. It's a ooh, ooh baby, 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 it's, it's a wild world. <laughs> um, we should talk about pop music. The no, no uh, not talking about pop music. New York, music. London, Paris, no. Munich. Everybody's talking about pop music. Yep. No. <laughs> so what I want to talk about is, you know how they say people die in threes. Oh, well, we got four. Oh, I only know three. What's the fourth? Well, it was uh, Julie Lipton. Peggy. Peggy Lipton. Julie from the show. Yeah. Um, Doris Day. Yeah. Who was the other one? Not Tim Conway. He was. I thought there was, was one the in between. I thought there was. I don't know who the in between was. Damn it! I only knew the three. Oh, Tim Conway, that made me... Uh, Tim well, Conway's upsetting, sad, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, but Doris Day lived a long... I mean, Doris Day was lived a long... Yeah, wow, she lived a long wee. life. Good she for was you, Doris. up there, so, Good I mean, she lived a long... Peggy wasn't old. Peggy was no, kind of young. 72. 72, and, uh, you know, she was uh, the ex-wife of Quincy Jones. Was oh, that right? Yeah, and I her daughter... Did, I did not know that. Well, her daughter is Rashida Jones, who was in Parks and Recreation. Yes. And yeah, that's yeah. Their, their daughter. Oh, Peggy Lipton right? and Quincy Jones, yeah. I had no idea. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's their daughter. Beautiful well, girl. Beautiful I would Rashida. Say. I love Rashida She was Jones. on The Office. She was in Parks yep. and Recreation. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, that is uh, Peggy Lipton and, and uh, Quincy again, Jones' daughter. did not know that. Yep. And then, uh, yeah, she passed away, and Doris Day passed away, and Doris Day was a huge animal ad- advocate, mm-hmm. and um, I love her for that. That's uh, a, a big deal to me. I remember me. my mother, when I, and this is when I was a little boy, because we still lived over on Riders Lane, and we didn't move that over to where we are now until I was five. Um, she said, oh, there's a, there's, a, there's a nice movie coming on later this afternoon. That's when Channel 7 used to do the 430 movie. Um, Father, Father Goose, I think, with her, and I forget who Father else was. Father Goose, yeah, uh, was in it, but she was in it, and uh, it was an you know, it was aimed at grown-ups, and she just thought it would be something I would enjoy. I, I guess there was animals or something in it, and, oh. I, and, and I was like, okay, animals. you're about done with this. But I always remember, even as a little boy, that Doris Day, boy, what a what a nice smile, what a pretty lady, you know. Uh, just, just, just well, in Greece, nice. this is what I know. See, Doris Day is before my time, but I she's iconic, so of course I know who she is. But in Greece, when they sing about Sandra D, that's about Doris Day. Was it right? Isn't it? I don't know. Look I'm not, I'm not at Greek. me, I'm Sandra D, lousy with virginity. That may be. Isn't that about Doris Day? I don't know. I thought it was. Here, I thought you meant Grease the Country. <laughs> no! <laughs> Grease Lightning! Grease the Going movie! Going down the corner, mild Grease Lightning. And uh, let me look that lightning. up. While I'm looking that up, let's talk about Tim Conway, because that I'll was a big I'll tell you what, one. that, uh, you know, it's never good when you lose 
you know, whomever, celebrities, you know, or just regular folks. It just isn't. I have, sidebar for a second, I have a former colleague of mine who has both her mother and her father um, going through hospital experiences right now. Her mom evidently is doing quite well. Um, pardon me, Mr. Black is uh, evidently... Mm, okay, I'm wrong, by the way, about Sandra D. Just let okay. it go. That's actually about a person named Sandra D. Right on. Thank you. Go ahead. Sandra D. Molly B. and Oscar Hill. Okay. I'm, a, I'm a dummy. But, she um, played Gidget. Um, you know, her, again, my, my, my friend, her mother and father, both with, uh, with hospital experiences. And you know what? You... They're, they're older folks, and her, again, her mom's doing fine. Her dad, not so much. And you just, boy, oh boy, it's just such a such a bastard to to go through that. You know, it just really, really is. We've both had our own little experiences with our respective parents. You know, and it just stinks whether it's one person or another. Then, you know, and right, wrong, someplace in between, you get someone like. Doris Day, you get someone like uh, Peggy Lipton, you get someone like uh, Tim Conway, who uh, who it's it's time for them to go home, and it just, ooh, it just it's 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 a piece of your past, yeah. just ripped right out. Yeah, you know? yeah. I remember Tim Conway. I used to, I used to love watching McHale's Navy again when he I was, was in that. Yes, he was. Oh, he was uh, Ensign Parker. You really, know, on I McHale's only knew him for Carol Burnett show. I that, didn't know he that, did other stuff. That was after. That oh, was really? After. Yep. I didn't know that. Yep. Okay. And then he did the uh, the Dorf series back in the in the, in the eighties, late eighties, where he played that that goofy Dorf character that everybody seemed to think was very funny. What's I the Dorf character? Did look at D O R F. Um, um. You know, Tim Conway Dorf. Um, it was it was it was kind of a hybrid of a couple of the characters I think that he played on Car Carol Burnett, or at least that's how it looked to me. I thought it. W I never gravitated to it. I thought it was funny, but I was like, okay, yeah, that's good for you, Mr. Conway. But uh, I liked you better on Carol Burnett. Born in Ohio in 1933. Yeah, and the uh, the Mr. Tudball character, you know, a Mrs. Higgins, you know, that guy. Th that voice was based upon his mother, who was from someplace in Eastern with Europe. With Dorf, there it is. There Chip is. and Bernie save Christmas with Dorf. Yeah, I mean, it was it was big. People, you could. Buy the videos. There was always infomercials on the TV about buying the, the Dorf videos. He he was working right up to the end there because he, he was uh, two and a half men. He did Glee. I didn't know he did all this he stuff. He was Barnacle Boy. Did the voice Listen, for Barnacle Joey. Boy on SpongeBob SquarePants? Yeah, it says right here SpongeBob yep. SquarePants. Yep. No kidding. Who lives in the pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. Right. <laughs> <laughs> did a lot of voiceover work. He did. He did. He was Mike he was and Molly. He was in that. He did. He, I didn't realize he was still. He's a very busy guy. He's a very busy guy. There he is, Barnacle funny. Boy. Yep. He did that. He also did that with Ernest Borgnine. Uh, was the other character? Pound it was, puppies. It was so and so and Barnacle Boy. I forget the. Uh, he did a lot of look. Was yeah, there he some did a lot. Played? Oh sure. I didn't realize he's done so much since Cal Burnett. Oh, I mean, yeah. uh, he was a busy. Fella. Dorf. There's Dorf. Yeah. Hermie and friends. CSI. CSI. Yep. What's up? Oh, mm -hmm. I only. Oh, I, 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 en I enjoyed him. I, he was one of the. He was one of the funny folks that I really, really enjoyed. And the best, of course, was seeing him and Harvey Corman. On yeah, well, that's Carol what I remember, <laughs> right? As a kid, <laughs> Carol Burnett. Yeah, show. and he would just ad lib it and and speed Cor too. Corman would lose it. He would absolutely lose it. Oh, it was great. It's absolutely great. His uh, career is quite eclectic. Well, there's and, and plus plus it's there's a lot. There really is a I mean, lot. There's, there's a there's a big volume of a big body of work. I mean, you're you're still scrolling, and scrolling. He's uh, he's gonna be missed. You know, you, you you run into these into these people. You know, just every now and again. You know, and and he always and he always seemed, you know, like a like a regular guy, like a like just just a guy. From Ohio, that happened to uh, I messed up to to be funny, recording. you know, and and uh, and and hit it. Yeah. I messed up on our recording. Oh, it'll be fine. I lost uh, That's 15 okay. minutes of our show on the our podcast. Yeah, because I was what? not paying attention. Because it only goes to an hour. Oh, that's so right. when you get to an hour, you have to reset. You gotta it. reset. And uh, <laughs> I lost uh, I lost some time. Sorry that's to right. our got people. Do we do we have the program after, or are we uh, freewheeling it again? No, I think. Well, we're d no. What do you mean? Are they are they coming in? I don't know. Are they coming in today? It's a big question mark. Hello? Anybody? Is, are we alone? We might be. I, I think, think we're I think alone, we're alone now. now. 
Doesn't seem to be anyone around. Gene. Oh, sh- <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> are, are, I, I, are, are, are the I, animal housers coming by tonight? No. Wow. Wow. Oh, okay. She's got it going on. We can't do it without. Probably not. We don't know. Hey, we'll catch you right. next time. Well, and the okay, thing we're just is, wondering. The thing of it is, I I, I kind of got stuff I got to get going. Well, know, yeah, no, we're gonna we're gonna end at seven like we usually do. I mean, that's just the way it is. I understand. Yeah, I mean, I think. Uh, but you're right though. Back to the threes. I yeah. kind of think I thought there was a fourth. Isn't that I awful? Know, I don't know. I can't think of who the fourth is. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, well, there were the three, and you're exactly right. It, it oftentimes does. Yeah, and it comes in, in threes. threes. It really does. Because if you're saying there's a fourth, that means there's two more to come. Oh. Keep that in mind. No. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There better not be a fourth. Lousy math. You said there'd Let be see. no math. Did he just say Clarence Clemens kids? Yeah. Why would he say Clarence Clemens kids? Say that ten times fast. <laughs> Clarence <laughs> Clemens kids. Clarence Clemens kids. Do you know Clarence Clemens kids, Gene? See? <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to say Clarence the Clemens regular pals. kids. <laughs> <laughs> See how hard it is to say? Oh, you had a procedure. You went to the dentist? Yeah. What Again, happened? with the dentist? Yeah. What'd you get? Crown? Filling? Well, it Teeth was pulled? No, what happened was... Abscess? So, no, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's me. Go. Root canal? The root canal that I originally had... Huh? Oh, oh, sorry. Oh. Oh. Ah, you've got some nerve, Gene. I w- but when you get a root canal, they take out the nerves. That's what a root canal is. Yeah, they remove the nerve. I don't know what's if going on. If I only had a full brain. Dentist full of shit. Dentist. That knife. Yeah. 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 Let me tell you something. Ooh. My, I have to change dentists um, because the dentist I had effed up my mouth so bad. You Oof. know that, my jaw and all that stuff. Yeah. So then I got new insurance, and it turns out the dentist I wanted to go to wasn't on the, uh. the tier. Now I got go to I gotta wait until January to get my... Right here, Mercer Smiles is open. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if they'll take my insurance, though. I have, like, the basic, so I, I don't have a lot of... Oh, that works. Yeah, that'll yeah. work with insurance. They don't care about that. I can try it, but they're just going to look at me and go, yeah, okay, what's your insurance? I'm not going to care. But I definitely have to get my teeth fixed. That's true. That's true. That's true. You're right. I'm going to make all kinds of funny faces if I have to. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> uh, you know, on Facebook, there are, everybody's complaining that uh, PJ isn't open yet. Everybody on Facebook, they're getting pissy. Yeah. 80, eight zero? Eight zero. From where? Where do you find 80 bands? Band store. Who's? That's a band Who's McMahon? No, Big Man. Ed McMahon. Oh. Vince who's McMahon. Ba- okay, who's Big Man? Gene. You? No, another Gene. Looks like another y- John. <laughs> <laughs> Killing me, Jane. No, his name is Gene. Oh, so it's just... And he, he actually did John Eddie. You know who John Eddie is? No. Who the hell's John Eddie? Who's he John Eddie uh, ran the Springsteen for a while. And Clarence Clemens' kids. And Clarence Clemens' kids. <laughs> Clarence Clemens' kids. Cla- Clarence Clemens' kids. Nick Clemens has a band that's Clarence' kids. And um, he, he brought, he, he, he's, pop, he's promoting that. Album. See, I just know the wife, Patty Scalfa, Clarence Clemens' kids. No, Clarence Clemens. Children. <laughs> and, uh, and the guy was on The Sopranos. That's it. That's all I know. Who else was on there? Oh, the drummer who who was uh co- he did he was the drummer for Conan O'Brien for a while. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. I know people. <laughs> oh. oh. Uh. Were you gonna hook me up? No, I don't mean like in a sexual way. <laughs> well, you're no. not fun. No, I meant like you know. Uh, no, I'm. D- <laughs> oh, wow. No. Uh, we've taken an ugly turn, kids. <laughs> My heart belongs to John Provaramo. <laughs> oh, wow. Well.
Ah. <sighs> and you dig Something's it. Something's wrong. Charles no. He's very funny. He's very funny. I watched his YouTube stuff all night long. <laughs> 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 You're like Lionel Richie. Uh, watch his what stuff? Oh, do you? Yeah, I hope he's watching this. What's up? What's up? All right, we got to go. Oh, right, look at that. Working on 7 o'clock. Okay, I'm that's cool. I'm hungry. I want yeah, to eat my chicken wrap. I could eat. I could eat. I could eat. I got <laughs> to get uh, making sure Daddy O is in good shape. He... This morning, quick story, and then we'll get out of here. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally, I'm in the shower. It's, it's. I, I just did Rob Winter there. Did you hear that? I'm, I'm in, in the, the shower. shower. <laughs> yeah, love Rob Winter. Go ahead. My kids Rob, are so big. <laughs> What's that? My kids are so big. My yeah, children yeah. are growing up yeah. way too rapidly. <laughs> yes, See, I Rob. wish I could talk like that. I want to so bad. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> After lunch. <laughs> um, so I'm in, the, I'm in the, literally, I'm in the shower, and all of a sudden I hear, like, like, because, you know, dad's almost 90, and he kind of, when he gets going, he kind of, whoa, 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 he kind of stumbles a little, little forward. So I hear out, you know, at the bathroom, I hear, and all of a sudden the door opens, he goes, hey, what's, uh, what, what are you doing? I'm like, uh, I'll give you one guess. <laughs> oh. And so I open the shower door. I'm like, what's going on? He goes, what time is it? I said, it's quarter of seven. I'm going to be out of here in like a half an hour. In the morning? Yes, Dad, in yes. the morning. The sun coming through the window should be Hence the dead giveaway. the morning. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, okay. I said, are you okay? He goes, yeah, I'm just, oh, I'm just, I get so confused. I'm like, well, oh, okay. You know, I said, give me, give me two minutes. I'll be right out. Okay. So I go and he's got the TV on, you know, this loud, of course, of course, and um, of course, I said, of course, and uh, I said, you okay? He goes, yeah, I just, boy, I, I just, I sleep so deeply, and then when I wake up, it's like poof, and I don't know if it's six in the morning or six in the evening. I said, that's it. He goes, yeah, and it, it just, it confuses me. I'm like, okay, okay, well, I'm here to tell you, it's morning. And I'm gonna go get dressed now so I can go to work. Okay. <laughs> so I wanna I just wanna make Daddy sure Daddy Tail on. He, you know, he's he's my guy, Daddy you know. Tail on. So I gotta I got I wanna get home and make sure that he's okay. You know, just make sure. Hey, you watching the ball game? Let's go. You know, just sort of do it that way rather than because he, he doesn't do well with Are you okay? Do you know he just does not. You just reminded me because you see I don't know why that story this is something that's stuck in my brain forever. I used to be friends with a very famous person, and I'm not going to say his name because not that others, I don't know who where this will go, but um, but his father was very ill. And when I was young, I was like 21, maybe 22, probably 21. Um, he said to me, my father needs a caregiver and I don't want to get some stranger right. from like some home. So will you take care of my father for me? And I had no experience at all in wow. any kind of nursing or I don't know, nothing. So I was like, he said, I'll pay you to do it. And I really considered it. But then I thought, if I, like, mess this up and, like, I end up killing this guy's dad, it, you know, it, I'll go to jail and it'll be bad. And so I, anyway, anyway I, said, I said no. But he, he became very, very famous, wow. which he's very famous now. But I just think it's funny that I just remembered that moment when he asked me that. And at the time, I was like... Why would I take care of your dad? I don't even. I'm not even a nurse. I know nothing well, about. He was uh, his dad was was ill. His well, dad I, passed I away. Can, I can completely but understand that because very I'm in a, famous I'm in a similar actor. Or, or I'm at some point here, maybe, uh, of course. If Actually, it is very famous family, not just one well, famous person. I'm going to be in a similar deal to where do I want some knucklehead coming into my house with with our stuff? Right. Okay. When I'm not around for eight nine hours at a clip. Or more, like tonight. Plus, I have a thing tomorrow. For example, after work, I have to go to up in Westfield. Do I want West somebody? Westfield girls. Do I want somebody nosing around and? No. I, I you know, yeah. or is it going to be one of these things to where we're going to have to figure something out? So, aren't I don't you know. curious as to who the famous person is? Uh, a little. We'll tell off the air. I'll tell Ooh, you. We'll, we'll go Just offline. I'll yeah. We'll see who who out there can guess. Comment below. <laughs> Comment below. <laughs> 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 What's up, world? It's the box. <laughs> <laughs> but I have one thing to say. 
<laughs> Little sweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> it's the sweet <laughs> one. <laughs> the box. <laughs> All right, it's three minutes after seven, kids. Got to go. Um go to bed. Well, not now, but you know, brush your teeth later on, go to bed. We love you, okay? <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you soon. Thanks for listening. It's real time with uh, John and Tracy. Thanks till next time. Peace. Where's our we music? Out. Cue oh, music. Oh, they're out there goofing around. There it is. Bye. Woo! This is it. The night of nights. No more rehearsing and nursing apart. We know everything that we have